I am a four to five hour night sleep guy. I get five hours of sleep and I'm done. And I was at Disney with my wife and my youngest daughter. And I woke up early in the morning like I usually do. They were sleeping. I thought, I better let them sleep. So I went to the second happiest place on the face of the earth. So when I, when I went to Walmart, I found this device at Walmart that you strap around your waist and it has a canister on it. You pump up the canister and there's a hose that comes up and sneaks up and you hook it up to your shirt. And at the end of this hose is a nozzle. You open it up and it sprays this light mist out. So I've got Renee and, and my daughter, we're at Disney and we're walking down Main Street. Nine o'clock in the morning, Florida, 105 degrees. We got this thing and we're, we're spraying each other. And I said, the new um, Pirates of the Caribbean movie is coming out. We need to go there first thing. So we went down, turn left, and we're walking up to Pirates of the Caribbean, soaked to the skin, all of us dripping wet from this water. And that's when we met Brett, because his name tag said Brett. And, and Brett had on a, a sash with a sword in it and buckles on his shoes and a patch over one eye. And, and I said, hi. And he said, I made him. What can I be doing for you this day? And I said, well, tell us about this fast pass thing. He says, oh, you want to know about the fast pass, do ya? Well, I just suggest you go on the ride and use that later because there'd be no line whatsoever. And I thought, okay. So then he turned to Rachel. Now, Rachel had the hose with the nozzle in, in at ease position. And he turned to my daughter and he says, I lass, and what can I be doing for you? And, and she opened up the nozzle and she's spraying him in the face. And he pulls out the sword and he says, "'Tis a poor excuse for a frontal attack. I can but thwart that with little effort." And he goes Psst, and puts his finger on the end of the nozzle. And I thought, isn't that amazing? Only at Disney do they take the pre-customer engagement we're not talking about getting in line. We're talking about before you even get in line and they turn it into a whole experience and extravaganza, let alone go get on the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Who in the, in the greenhouse nursery business thinks of the customer as they get out of the car, walk across the parking lot, open the door, walk in and have multiple points of contact, messages hit them before they even bust through the doors. That's the secret of having this kind of connection, this magnetism to your customers. When you think, I need to connect with them before, I need to connect with them after, and when you have that kind of magnet magnetic charisma, that je ne sais quoi, customers are amazed by that, and they want it, and they want it again. That's called repeat sales. You gotta have it.